Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla strikes deal to have its own exclusive lane at US-Mexico border. Tesla semi-electric truck with impressive artwork spotted on the highway. Tesla completes Giga Berlin plant upgrades on schedule and begins trial production of new Model Y. And, Tesla's 4680 cell output from its pilot line is growing 35% month over month. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla has managed to strike a deal with the state of Nuevo Leon to have its own lane at the US-Mexico border, which should help the company and its suppliers get across faster. Nuevo Leon is a weirdly shaped state that managed to have its border drawn in a way that gave it a little nine-mile border with the United States and more specifically the state of Texas. While it is small in size, it has a large population of more than 5 million people, most of them concentrated around Monterey, its capital, and the many industries in the region, including many automotive suppliers. The nine-mile border means that the small state, which also borders the bigger states of Cahula and Tamaulipas, manages its own border crossing with the US. Now we learn that Tesla has struck a deal with the state of Nuevo Leon to have its own lane at the border crossing. It resulted in fairly comical signage for a border crossing. Bloomberg talked to Ivan Rivas, the economy minister of Nuevo Leon, about the deal. The politician said that it was an incentive awarded to Tesla. It was a simple incentive. What we want is a crossing that's much more expedited and efficient. And maybe there will be a lane for other companies in the future, like there is for Tesla. The exclusive lane will enable Tesla and its suppliers to avoid some wait time at the border, even though the border crossing in Nuevo Leon is among the least popular and the longest wait times are generally no more than 20 minutes. Tesla has several suppliers in Nuevo Leon, according to Rivas, including Enflex Corporation and Quanta Computer, French firm Forisha SE, Germany's ZF Friedrichshafen AG, and APG Mexico. Furthermore, Tesla has reportedly been looking at potential sites for a factory in Mexico. Earlier this year, we reported on CEO Elon Musk confirming that Tesla is considering sites for a new factory in Canada, Mexico, and the US when discussing its next plant in North America. Moving to the next update, Tesla semi-electric truck with impressive artwork spotted on the highway. A Tesla semi-electric truck with some impressive artwork was spotted on the highway. Based on its location, it looks like Tesla is putting the electric truck to work in its own operations. Tesla's Semi might be the automaker's most disappointing program to date. When the original prototype was unveiled in 2017, it sent waves in the trucking industry for its potential to both decarbonize trucking and significantly reduce the cost of operations of trucks on which the whole world relies for virtually everything. But the vehicle program is so late at this point that a lot of the hype around it has died down. Tesla originally said that it was supposed to come in 2019, but it has been continuously delayed, and now it is expected to reach volume production and have customers deliveries until 2023. That's a four-year delay. But there are a few Tesla semi-electric trucks out there, and now one of them was spotted by on a highway in California this week. The electric tractor and trailer feature some beautiful artwork, which would indicate that it is the same unit that Tesla brought to its cyber rodeo earlier this year, since it was being painted by an artist during the event. The location of the electric truck, westbound on the 80 near Colfax, California, would suggest that Tesla is putting the truck to work, moving cargo between its many locations in Northern California and Gigafactory, Nevada, outside of Reno. Tesla always said, that it would be its own first customer when it comes to the Tesla Semi. The automaker operates a fairly large fleet of trucks in its own operations, on top of using trucking companies and integrating electric trucks in its fleet, and would obviously align with its mission while also reducing its cost of operations. The 80 between California and Nevada is an extremely busy route for Tesla, since the automaker sends hundreds of thousands of powertrains from Gigafactory Nevada to Fremont Factory. We still don't know exactly how many Tesla semi-electric trucks the company has in operation today. 
Moving to the next update, Tesla completes Giga Berlin planned upgrades on schedule and begins trial production of new Model Y. Tesla shut down Giga Berlin on July 11 to complete upgrades to the factory's production lines, meant to reduce the amount of time a vehicle is required to be stopped at each station along the line, from 90 seconds to 45 seconds. The upgrades were scheduled to be completed by July 22, with the factory reopening for business on July 25th. Everything went according to schedule, and the automaker has already started trial production to test the new processes, a source familiar with the project said. Not only has production restarted, the factory is also kicking off the new processes by building several test vehicles with features that have never before been built at Giga Berlin. This includes a Model Y with a single-piece front casting, a Model Y rear-wheel drive, as well as a Model Y with a white interior. According to the source, the single-piece front casting was produced using one of the Giga Press machines at Giga Berlin, marking the first time this has happened. Until now, only single-piece rear castings have been included on Berlin-made Model Ys. This is an important first step to beginning production of Model Ys, with structural battery packs and 4680 cells. As we have previously reported, Giga Berlin built a Model Y with a structural pack last month, but the necessary parts for that vehicle were imported from Giga Texas. Crews at the factory also put together a single-motor Model Y for the first time, as well as a Model Y with a white interior. Until now, Giga Berlin has only produced Model Y Performance and Model Y long-range cars with black interiors. Unfortunately, there is no timeline for when either the single-piece front casting, Model Y rear-wheel drive, or the white interiors will enter full production. Despite several reports that Giga Berlin would restart production after the shutdown with a third shift, we can confirm this will not be the case. As we reported last month, a third shift is not expected to begin until the fall. When it does, the factory will be able to run continuously for 24 hours per day. Moving to the last update, Tesla's 4680 cell output from its pilot line is growing 35% month over month. During the recently held Q2 2022 earnings call, Elon Musk and other Tesla executives discussed several aspects of the 4680 battery cell production ramp. While 4680 cells are only being used on limited vehicles for now, Tesla executives highlighted that the development of the new battery technology is ongoing. There were quite a number of questions during the earnings call focused on Tesla's 4680 cells. One of them asked if Giga Texas was already producing its own 4680 batteries, seeing as it is the factory producing Model Ys, equipped with structural packs. Tesla's senior vice president of powertrain and energy engineering, Andrew Baglino, addressed the inquiry. According to the Tesla executive, Tesla is making progress on its 4680 project. But for now, the company is still leveraging supplier cells, which are so far enough to support a ramp in Giga Texas and Gigafactory Berlin. We expect to ramp total 4680 production to exceed 1,000 per week by the end of the year, hopefully before, well before, Baglino said. That being said, Baglino also highlighted that the Cato Road facility, which hosts Tesla's pilot 4680 production line, has made a breakthrough of sorts. This resulted in the Cato Road facility growing its output 35% month over month. In Q2, at Cato, we fully automated power conveyance for the dry anode electrode tool there, unlocking major increases in production and improvements in yields. Since March, because of that, Cato's output has grown about 35% month over month each month since, and yields throughout the factory are already at targets in most areas and trending in that direction and a few others. We did feed learnings from Fremont Cell and pack lines to Texas and Berlin there, a carbon copy. Cell design was revved to unlock higher performance and manufacturing simplicity. Manufacturing lines were further integrated, and we insourced additional content. For these reasons, there are some new ramp challenges to overcome in Texas and Berlin, Baglino said. The Tesla SVP of powertrain and energy engineering added that for now, Tesla is aiming for Gigafactory Texas to exceed the weekly output of the Cato Road pilot line 
by the end of this year. If Tesla is successful in its endeavor, the company could start fully committing to the rollout of its 4680 cell equipped vehicles, like the Cybertruck and the Tesla Semi. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.